morning, everybody. My name is David Hardy. I'm from Philadelphia, home of the Philadelphia Eagles. All right. Well, I'm here to talk to you today about schools in Pennsylvania. And it's no exaggeration to say that school choice has been an incredible benefit for the children of Pennsylvania. But we're here today because the freedoms of choice that we've come to enjoy, the ones we believe should be expanded, are really being threatened. And we need our elected officials to speak up for educational freedom. We need them to speak up for children. And silence is not helpful in this situation. And I'm gonna give you two examples of why it's not. A few years ago, there was a young African American man from North Philadelphia who graduated from Temple University and became a Rhodes Scholar, getting a scholarship to the most prestigious university in the world, Oxford University. That's not what normally happens to kids from Philadelphia. So the mayor and the superintendent went around bragging. They said, this guy came out of the Philadelphia public schools and now he's on his way to Harvard or Oxford. But this is where I'm going to play Paul Harvey and tell you the rest of the story. Some of you guys are old enough to remember Paul Harvey. His mother raised him at 25th and Diamond in North Philadelphia. And she knew their neighborhood schools didn't offer much opportunity. So she looked for something else. Now, I know I grew up in a neighborhood not far from there and then my mother knew the same thing. Now his mother looked and found the school. She lied about her address and enrolled him in there. And don't judge, <laughs> my mom did the same thing. My official school district record has my Aunt Helen's address on it. But I can speak about it because I think we're past the statute of limitations, so I'm all right. Well, this young, this young man did very well. And he went on to high school. But during high school, his mom had some personal difficulties and she left town and left him alone. He wound up dropping out of high school. But through some miracle, he was directed to a charter school that served at-risk students. He earned his diploma. He went on to community college and then to Temple. The rest is history. The mayor and the superintendent didn't tell you about this part. They closed that charter school. They closed it. Another story is about a little girl who, from what I can understand, had a pretty good experience in her neighborhood district elementary school, but when it came to high school, she wound up in the charter. Now this girl did pretty well, went on to write and star in a Emmy Award winning sitcom, Abbott Elementary. She graduated from a charter high school. They don't tell you that. That's the silence that people don't talk about. When you close a charter school, when you close a cyber school, when you oppose state funding for scholarship programs for private schools, when you object to funding for homeschooling or pods, you're interrupting the possibility of students to escape unproductive situations to find one that is productive for them. And when these alternatives produce success, we get a lot of elected officials who come out and act like they're the mothers and fathers of that success. But when opposition to these programs come, too often it's met with silence. And opportunities are being ripped from the communities throughout the Commonwealth because of it. Somebody needs to say something. Somebody needs to hold people accountable for closing opportunity for kids. And that's why we're here today. And I hope that people get our message we won't be silent, it's too important. The kids need opportunity. So thank you very much. Thank you for having me today.